In the UK, any new driver will be tested for their hazard perception as part of their driving theory test. Hazard perception, or the ability to identify hazards, is an essential skill when driving, as we will have to react to hazards almost every time we drive. In this video, we will help you spot hazards in real life and understand the difference between a potential hazard and a developing hazard, as this will help you pass your theory test and be a safer driver on the road. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you are alerted when we upload a new video. Also, we love to read your comments, so please scroll down and let us know what you think. Hazards take many forms and can happen at any time, so we must stay alert. The best way to spot hazards is to use our forward planning skills to look ahead and take notice of what is happening. We look all around us, to both sides and in front of us, not concentrating on any single point, but keeping our eyes moving. We are looking for anything that could change or develop so that it forces us to take some kind of action to stay safe. In the UK, we must pass a compulsory theory test before we can book our practical driving test. The theory test consists of 50 multiple choice questions and a test of our hazard perception. The hazard perception part of the test comprises of 14 short videos and tests us on our ability to identify a developing hazard that would need us to take some kind of action, such as changing speed or direction. We will need to score at least 44 out of 75 points to pass. A potential hazard, circled in yellow, is anything that could cause you to take action, but hasn't yet. We don't need to click on these hazards when doing our hazard perception test, but in real life we should be aware of them in case they develop. A developing hazard, circled in red, is when a hazard changes so that it causes us to take some form of action such as braking or changing direction. On our hazard perception test, we should click as soon as we spot a developing hazard, and in real life we should react promptly and do whatever we need to do to avoid the hazard putting us in danger. The earlier we can react, the safer we will be. So on the hazard perception test, we will score 5 points if we react quickly, reducing down to no points if we react too slowly. If we click too early, we won't score any points at all, so we must wait until the hazard starts to develop before clicking. We will show you five short video clips that contain several potential hazards and one developing hazard. Pause the video when you think you would need to take action because of the developing hazard. Note the time on the stopwatch and then continue. We will then replay the video and show when you should have taken action for the developing hazard and how many points you would have scored on the hazard perception test. Practice clip one.
clip number two. This clip three. Clip number four. Practice clip five. So how did you do? Did you click too early or too late? Our ability to identify hazards and knowing when to take action will develop over time. So the more driving experience we can gain, the better. If you are going to be taking the UK theory and hazard perception test soon, then you can also practice with the official DVSA app on your phone or tablet. So remember to, Stay alert and vigilant. 
Use your forward planning skills to identify hazards. Take action when required. And learn from experience. If you found this video interesting and would like to be notified when we release the next one, then please click our logo to subscribe to our channel. If you would like to help us make new videos, then please click the Patreon logo to find out about our crowdfunding campaign. Thanks for watching.